Hello, my name is Caitlin with Fast Calm Dog, and today I'm here with Willie, and we're going to be working on her loose leash walking with some distractions. Now, what we're going to be doing today is that we're back in the patio, and we're going to be working on Willie's walking with some added distractions. Now, we're having a little bit of a pool party outside, and so that's going to be our distraction today, because even though it's outside, Willie can hear the dog splashing in the water, she can see them through the doors, and it's a very distracting thing to have in the environment. Now, just a reminder of the expectations of Welly. There's going to be no pulling, no dragging, and no sniffing in the ground. And we always start with the dog's name and then the command. So it's going to be Welly. Let's go. And we're just going to start our walk. Now, right off the bat, you see Welly definitely notices all the commotion happening outside. She sees all these dogs jumping in the water. It's very distracting. But we want to make sure that no matter what distraction is going on, Welly is still giving us a very polite walk. Uh-uh. You see right there she got a little bit excited and pulled ahead. Uh-uh. And here you see a little bit of dragging. So I'm just going ahead giving a little snap or pulse to the end of the leash just to communicate to her to keep moving. Uh-uh. Come on. See, like I said, she definitely notices, but I like that she's still moving. I like that she's still walking with me very nicely. Come on. Uh-uh. Now right here you see she's doing a little bit of licking. I don't want to allow that. I want to make sure that she's walking past the distraction, that she's not just licking my hand. Come on. Good girl. And you see we got the leash nice and loose. I'm using my left hand just to hold the leash steady, but you want just enough slack so that there's a little loop right next to Welly's collar. Now right there you saw there was a little bit of dragon. Just gave a little snap and she kept on moving. Uh -huh. Now right there you saw Welly was actually running into me a little bit. If she does that, you can actually bump her with your hip to get her back into position very gently. And as you can see, that's exactly what I did. I just bumped her back into place and she kept on moving very nice. Uh -huh. We're going to go ahead and do a couple more laps. But you can see this is a very distracting thing happening outside. Come on. Good girl. I love any eye contact. I'm always going to encourage that. Come on. Good girl, Welly. Uh-uh, uh-uh. See a little bit more of that licking. I'm just vocally correcting this time. All right, now to stop with Welly, I'm just going to say her name and then take a couple extra steps. So it's going to be Welly. Yes, good girl. And you see she gave me a very nice stop. Now all I did was just say her name just to help her slow down so that she could stop with me and that she wasn't going to stop ahead. But overall, that was a very nice practice session. She did a great job with the distraction, even though you can see it was definitely a tough exercise. Overall, she did a really nice job. This is a great job at adding some distractions to Welly's walk. Let's go.